Hello everyone, today we're going to compile the SFML libraries using TDM GCC 4.9, CMake, and Code Blocks. So the first thing we'll need to do is extract the SFML libraries to our desktop. Okay, once that's extracted, you can go to the Start menu, right-click, and select Command Prompt. In the command prompt, you'll type gcc space dash dash version. As you can see, gcc is not recognized as an internal or external command, which means we'll have to add it to the path environment variable. So go ahead and close out the command prompt and open up File Explorer. Go to your C drive, Program Files x86, Code Blocks, MinGW, in. and here you'll find G++ and GCC. We'll need to copy this path here at the top and close the window. Now go back to the start menu and right click. This time go to system, advanced system settings, environment variables, path, edit, new, and paste that path we just copied in the little slot here. Click OK, 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 and close the window. Now we're going to go back to the Start menu. We're going to open up the Command Prompt again. And we're just going to double check that GCC is, is now being recognized. So type GCC space dash dash version. And as you can see, that worked. So we can close this Command Prompt out. And now we'll need to open up the CMake GUI. Okay, once you have the CMake GUI open, you'll notice at the top there are two places here to enter a path. So the first one has to point to the SFML folder, the source code folder. So go ahead and open up the SFML source code folder and copy the path at the top. Go ahead and paste that in. So CMake is going to generate a bunch of files, and you need to tell CMake where to put those files, and that's what this is for right here. I'm going to point this at the same place. This is called an in-source build, so any files that CMake generates will be placed in the, this SFML source code folder. So go ahead and click Configure, and now CMake is going to ask you what generator you want to use. So I'm already set to use the CodeBlocks MinGW makefiles generator. If, you're, if you wanted to use a different compiler slash IDE combination, you would select that now, but I'm going to leave it as it is. So I'm going to select Finish. I'm going to let it configure my project. Okay, so this window that shows up in a big red square, these are cache variables, and cache variables are used to configure our build. And CMake is asking us if these are these settings are the settings that we want to use. Now, we're going to use the default settings for this first build, but if you wanted to, for example, change this to a debug build, you could just type debug here and that's how you customize your build. But I want to use default uh, settings, so I'm going to change that back. Okay, so go ahead and click Configure, and then Generate. Now, if you open up your SFML source code folder, and look, you'll notice that there's an SFML.cbp file here. If you double-click this, CodeBlocks is going to open. Now all you have to do to build SFML is simply click the build button. And if we go into the lib folder here, you'll be able to see the binaries pop up as um, CodeBlocks is compiling them. Okay, you can go ahead and close out CodeBlocks. And we'll go back to the parent directory. And we're going to go ahead and change this build. So we're going to change this to debug. So now we're going to do a debug version of the SFML libraries. So click configure, click generate, and now we're going to double click this SFML.cbp file again. And again that will open up code blocks, but this time we're going to build the debug version of the library. So if we click this lib folder, you'll be able to see we get more binaries. So click build. And over here, you'll see that we get additional binaries. 
So right here you can see we have sfml-system-d-2. So the dash D in this name indicates that this is the debug version of the SFML library. Okay, go ahead and close out code blocks. Again, go to the parent directory. And this time we're going to do the static version of the SFML library. So here you'll see the build shared libs cache variable. And when this is checked, we'll get uh, shared libraries. And when it's unchecked, we'll get static libraries. So go ahead and uncheck that and, and click configure and generate. And then double click sfml.cbp file. Go ahead and click the build button. And then we'll open up the lib folder so we can see. So here you can see we have lib sfml system s d. The dash s indicates that it is the static version of the library, and the dash d indicates that it is the debug version of the library. Go ahead and close out code blocks one more time. Go to the parent directory. And we're going to do one more build. We're going to do the static release build. So go ahead and switch this to release. And then click configure, generate, and double click sfml.cbp. And click the build button one more time. We'll go ahead and open up the lib folder again. So here you can see we have sfml-system-s.a. The dash s indicates that it is a static library and the lack of a dash d indicates that it's a release version of the library. Okay, go ahead and close out code blocks. And now you can go ahead and close uh, CMake as well. And that's it guys, that's all you have to do to compile the SFML libraries. So all your binaries are in the lib folder. That's all there is to it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.